All right, y'all, I just got through putting this tan coat on this uh, leather cartridge pouch that I've made. And uh, let me show y'all what that looks like. So what I'm gonna do now is put some of this leather wax I've made. I just made it out of, uh, let me see, about one third of uh, bees wax and uh, two, two thirds of the um, Neats foot oil. So uh, try that out, I've, not, I've never used it before. We're gonna see how that does. I wanted something to uh, put on my leather products, especially if they're gonna be outdoors. Uh, after I get through uh, coating them with that tan coat, just give them a little bit of extra uh, protection against rain. I know, you know, beeswax is supposed to be real good, and uh, I've used it on uh, that and made my own uh, compound for uh, cutting boards, and it seems to uh, be fine. This type of stuff I like making here, uh, anything I do with uh, hunting or outdoor type stuff, really like uh, making stuff like it. This, uh, this particular design here is a straightforward, simple design, and it works really, really good. Um, the different ways you can uh, do this. Um, as far as the design, um, I've just uh, mainly built these uh, for uh, long action cartridge, like 30 out 6, 270. But uh, I'm going to make some also for, uh, you know, short action. Also, you know, like. Uh, some of your more newer cartridges and stuff like that um, that might fall in between or some of your older ones uh, 45 70s for example is a good one even though that would work in this particular uh, pouch right here Put a little buffing on it now see how it does there see if it's going to shine up for me and this uh you know Carrying this out in the woods, you know, uh, if it's raining, that's what you want on it. Kind of help repel any kind of rain, especially if you're out there, you know, for days at a time. If you're camping out there, it might be a little bit different, you know, if you're, you know, in and out of the woods every day and you get home and, you know, you can treat your uh, leather. But if you're out there, you know, for a while, say you're on an elk hunt or something like that, a white tail hunt somewhere, and you're gonna be out there two or three days, four or five days, and uh, camping out in the woods. All right, y'all. I'm gonna bring y'all down here in a minute and show you a little bit closer look, how it looks there. I got y'all down here where y'all can see me, and uh, let me just go on and show you this, uh, cartridge pouch right there I made. It's made out of a uh, six, seven ounce leather and it's uh, got a saddle tan uh, pro die on it. And the sides right here is what it looks like. I made the little concave uh, belt loop back here to fit like a one and a half to one three quarter, possibly a two inch belt. I know most belts one half, one three quarter. So um, not so much worried about, you know, making it for a two inch belt unless somebody just needed something like that, I would. But anyway, um, the stitching on it, I did uh, uh, this artificial deer polyester type sinew, and I like the way it looks. It makes it look rustic, and uh, it's got three layers. I saddle stitch this three times and back stitch on the fourth run, uh, like three or four spots right here. And turn around the back up there, you can kind of see it right there. So uh, it's uh, it's not coming apart, y'all. It's glued, also. And I hold five uh, long action cartridges, like a 270, 30 out six, and 
y'all can see right there the welt on each side the, the cartridge just kind of centers in between them two and the bottom right here has got another piece of leather there that i put in there to help protect the uh, leather from the tip of the bullet but uh just a nice little simple uh cartridge uh leather case right there and uh like i say it's uh if you're a deer hunter you know what i'm talking about it's nice to have a place to put your cartridges and so just throw them in your pocket and a good way to keep up with your cartridges and you just take it off and put it up on your uh gun rack and cabinet whatever your chest wherever you want to keep it and keep your bullets kind of organized there when you get ready to go back hunting that's the whole purpose you know of these uh also when you're out in the woods uh have a place to um keep your ammunition uh keep up with it make sure you know they don't fall out of your pocket you never know you have to use the restroom or something like that and you can slide out of your pocket and then the big buck comes a long way you're sitting there having to use the restroom <laughs> Well, that's never happened to me yet, y'all, and I hope it never does, but anyway. <laughs> but uh, maybe some of y'all get a laugh out of that. But uh, anyway, y'all, I just want to show y'all this little cartridge uh, pouch I made right there. I got a video showing how I did it. I think it about a year ago, and uh, it's just nothing to it. It's just real simple. But uh, I'm going to experiment, like I say, making some different ones, different designs. It's just a regular fold over. And I've got uh, some ideas about uh, doing some more different types, uh, completely different from this right here. But I like making this kind of stuff right here because I know a lot of times, you know, somebody's going to uh, want to buy a uh, you know, cartridge, a leather cartridge, you know, going hunting and stuff like that, and, you know, store their cartridge stuff in there. But uh, I just want to bring you along today, show you all what I was working on there. And um, another thing, um, I tell you, this this never happened to me before uh, until yesterday, and it happened again today. Uh, yesterday, I knocked over uh, some of my uh, dye while I was working here, and I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I just know I knocked it over, and what went everywhere. Uh, luckily, it was uh, only like a third of a bottle left, and uh, I made a mess. It died in my uh, top right here, and the way y'all have been saying, if I got dye on my fingers because of that, and... Well, if that wasn't bad enough today, y'all, when I was working on this right here, I uh, had another the bottle of dye opened up and put my dauber in there and then went to take my dauber out and I knocked my bottle of dye over again, y'all. That's two days in a row. So I'm not having no luck on that, y'all. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful and uh, got that dye back on my hand again. Normally, I try to wear gloves whenever I'm doing my dyeing and stuff like that, but I got in a little hurry and uh, haven't been putting my gloves on. So I just want to share y'all with that story. And if anybody's ever done anything like that or gained suggestions or anything, you know, comment about it, just leave it down in the comment section below. And uh, I appreciate y'all coming along today, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching the videos. And as always, friends, from my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.